Hey guys, the snow is with Crypto Marie Local and International. The View host Ana Navarro wants Marco Rubio. He knows I know where his skeleton are hidden. The View co-host Ana Navarro predicted Monday that Senator Marco Rubio from Florida would not become former President Trump's nominee for vice president, also suggesting that she knows secret about Rubio's past. I don't think it's going to be Marco Rubio, Navarro said, of the Florida senator's chance to become Trump's VP pick. Marco has embarrassed himself to such a point, I mean, he's little in stature and he's little in principles, she said on Behind the Table, the official podcast for The View. Those ladies are on fire, y'all. When asked if Rubio would come as a guest on The View, Navarro suggested that she knows secrets about Rubio that would prevent that from happening. Maybe if he thinks it helps his chance to get into a fight with me and the other woman on The View, he would, but he knows I know where his skeletons are hidden she said i've known him since we were kids Ooh, what do you know anna can you let us know what you know about this fool because they ain't done crap for florida i mean during election those guys are going out there they are promising everything from marco rubio to scott something i forgot his name scott something those guys are the senators from florida they ain't doing crap for the floridian and when they need to be reelected, that's when they are begging they are asking people to vote for them but in reality they are up to no good they're only thinking about their pockets they are thinking about themselves nobody else navarro's family moved to florida from nicaragua in 1980 she like rubio spent much of her life growing up in miami florida hello <laughs> Navalo still resigns there. Navalo emphasized that she was generally interested in debates, debates with guests as long as they come in good faith. <laughs> I'm telling you, those ladies in the view are killing the game. Navalo recently attacked Rubio for comparing Trump's guilty verdict in New York to the trial that took place in Cuba after Fidel Castro took over the country. How dare you? Marco, how dare you? 5,600 Cubans, at least, were shot in front of firing squads. Another 1,200 were shot and died because of extrajudicial hearings. How dare you use their name in vain so that you can suck up to this man, Navarro said, sounding enraged. I know you want to be his vice president. Rubio is one of the many possible candidates for Trump's VP, including South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, Arkansas Governor Sarah Sanders, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin, North Dakota Governor Doug Bergen, South Dakota Governor Christy Noren, and Ohio Senator jd vance too many people trump is still weighing his running mate options he suggested in may that he might even wait until the july republican national convention in milwaukee to name his pick it is excuse me it is unfortunate this guy being convicted of 34 felonies and he still have a chance to become again president of the united states or that he cannot vote for himself because he's a felon, but somehow <laughs> he can become president. And there are so many countries he cannot travel to because he's a felon. And that's something, y'all, yeah, that'll make you think a little bit. Subscribe. Let me know how you feel. Thank you. Bye.